Hey everybody, welcome back to part three of History of the Lizardmen. We left off with my little theory, or hypothesis actually, and now we move on uh, to the next part. Discord. In paradise. Bum, bum, bum. Yet. There we go. Discord in paradise. Yet. All is not well with the Old One's galactic empire. The source of their magical powers was the dimension of pure spirit called the Realm of Chaos. In addition, their extra-dimensional gateways led through the darkling halls and Stygian depths of this impossible realm. Nascent beings now stirred deep within malign intelligences that resented the Old One's trespasses. As life flourished throughout the galaxy, often brought into being by the Old Ones themselves, so the dimension of chaos became turbulent and troubled as it echoed new passions and emotions born into the universe. I'm back. In time, the Old Ones found themselves embattled with creatures spawned by these emotions deep within the sea of chaos fighting a constant war for the mastery of that impossible dimension. Perhaps the races of the Old Ones had nurtured during this time or intended to fight against these creatures of chaos. Sorry. The first created were the Elves, who learned the lore of magic in the laps of the gods, followed by the Dwarves, whose magic was not learned, but intrinsic and instinctual. Perhaps, as the struggle intensified, the Old Ones were forced to create in haste more beings, for men, and finally halflings and ogres, were risen up from the savages that roamed the world to make their place at the feet of the gods. That's some pretty heavy shit right there. So, first the Lizardmen, then the elves, then the dwarves were created. Next came humans, uh, followed by halflings and ogres. Yes, we both have noticed they did not mention the orcs. The coming of chaos. When disaster befell the old ones, the network of dimensional pathways collapsed. If the Old Ones tried to seal off the portals or whether their enemies' contact, uh, constant attacks brought about the disaster will never be known. The raw stuff of chaos spewed forth into the world. The gateway collapsed upon itself and many slan sacrificed their lives and their souls in the span of a few seconds to stave off the immediate and total destruction of the planet. Wah. Waha. So there you go. The fantasy world is here because the Lizardmen saved it. Period. Ah. <laughs> Yet, they failed to seal the portal entirely. And a billion gibbering fiends forced their way through the crack in the stuff of reality, forcing open a gateway from hell. Even as the gateways collapsed, the old ones departed from the world. Whether they were destroyed or they simply the abandoned the planet to its fate, none will ever know. The old ones were beings of order and life, and chaos was anathema to them. The raw stuff of chaos coalesced into solid form to rain down upon the world, poisoning life and bringing into being all manner of twisted and unnatural creatures. At the poles, great chunks of the stuff fell to earth. The remnants, perhaps, of the gateways themselves. I think we're talking about warp stone here. Could it be that they said that the warp stone is in actuality remnants of the warp gates themselves when they exploded? 
Hmm. Okay. Where was I at? Oh, I'm sorry. Further afield, smaller rocks plummeted through the sky upon the weirdling contrails, settling, setting the air afire with pulsating eerie lights. No region escaped as the final layer of warpstone, there we go, warpstone dust settled across the entire world, bringing mutation to all. Where the gateway had once been, now there throbbed a second moon. A malevolent green satellite made of the very stuff of chaos. Holy crap. The lizardmen rallied around their armies, setting out to face the vile creatures now spilling across the world. Many cities were lost in the first terrible days, overrun by the untowed hordes of demons. Yet others stood tenuous redoubts of order amongst the boiling ocean of abomination. Ha! <laughs> ha! We will go on to the big parts of that war next, with the defense of Itzka. But that'll be in part three. Until then, you'll just have to wait, and I'll see you next time.